On May 22nd, 2023, YouTuber Brian Johnson uploaded this video titled, Will My Son's Blood Make Me Younger? In the video, you learn about Brian's vision to do the world's first multi-generational plasma exchange. The logic is that the plasma from the young donor will help reverse the age of the older receiver. So Brian would donate his blood to his 70-year-old father and receive blood from his 17-year-old son to preserve their health. This is an invasive procedure and is still considered to be very experimental. Most people when they first saw this were envisioning some billionaire Satanist trying to achieve eternal life by sacrificing the youth. Every single media outlet you could think of posted an article conveying their thoughts about the man who is trying to age backwards. Now there is no shortage of critics, but there is also a cult fan base supporting him. This blood transfer was not the only thing Brian was doing to reverse his age. In fact, it's only one very small part of the thousands of different routines and procedures he has implemented in his life with the ultimate goal of don't die. Brian's whole life is built around not dying, but the reason why he is doing it is not what you are being told. Brian's de-aging journey is costing him upwards of $2 million per year. This is mere pennies to someone who sold their company for $800 million. Johnson's first entrepreneurial success came during his time at Brigham Young University between 1999 and 2003, where he would launch three startups, the first of which sold cell phones and service plans. Johnson hired college students as salesmen, and he kept a commission of roughly $300 on each sale, helping to pay his way through his education. Then after college, he started two other businesses, a VOIP company combining features of Skype and Vonage, and a $70 million real estate venture with his brother. After both of these businesses, businesses fell flat, Brian was approaching 30 with a child, a wife, and no money. He knew he was smart and hardworking, but he did not know what direction he should take his life. He was desperate to make any money, and the only job he could find was a 100% commission door-to-door -door sales gig, selling credit card processing to businesses. Despite Brian describing this job as painful, he noticed a huge opportunity. At the time, credit card companies were very unregulated. He knew if he could teach these business owners in depth how credit card transactions work, and was honest with them, he could win their business. He became the top salesman at his company and used that model to form his own business. In 2007, at the age of 30, Johnson started Braintree, a credit card processing system during an era of the infancy of smartphones. Braintree was essentially a software that helped businesses like Uber accept credit card payments. It was kind of like an early version of Stripe or Square. By 2011, Braintree was processing more than $8 million in online credit card payments daily and processed more than $3 billion by the end of the year. One year later, Braintree acquired the startup Venmo for $26.2 million. Venmo was a social payments platform that allows people to share payments to their friends. It was the perfect acquisition because in 2013, PayPal acquired Braintree for $800 million in cash. Brian went from being broke to set for life in just six years. He used this success to branch into venture capitalism with the OS Fund, or Operating System Fund, using $100 million of his own personal capital to invest in the various scientific fields such as molecular engineering, machine learning, synthetic biology, and nanotechnology. Companies like Ginkgo Bioworks or Verge Genomics made large strides in their respective fields thanks to his investments. In 2016, Johnson's interests in biosciences would continue to appear in his entrepreneurial work, investing $100 million into his new company, Kernel. Kernel developed studies and devices such as the Kernel Flow, assisting with and monitoring brain activity. As of 2019, Kernel is researching the underlying patterns of the brain, neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and depression, as well as links between the human brain and computer interfaces such as Facebook. As he learned more about the human body, he wanted to use his own as an experiment. And thus, Project Blueprint was born. Project Blueprint was created in October 2021 with the aim of turning back Johnson's biological clock, de-aging his body through radical experiments involving diet, exercise, medication, and the very detailed monitoring of his body processes and chemical levels by a team of over 30 doctors and health experts. This project is led by 29-year-old regenerative medicine physician Oliver Zolman. The sheer amount of detail Brian shares about this process on his website is staggering. 
Scrolling down this page, you will find the meals he eats, the hundreds of pills he takes, images and breakdowns of his liver health, images of his brain, lungs, intestines, biometric details that someone much smarter than me needs to analyze. I mean, there is so much personal information that Brian Johnson just puts on the internet, but the truth is, a lot of your personal information is being bought and sold regularly, which is why I'm here to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Are you tired of receiving those spam calls from unknown callers every day? I know I am. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to those spammers that are annoying you all day. These brokers are legally required to remove your information if you ask them to, but they make it super difficult. So let Aura handle that for you. Aura identifies the data brokers giving out your information and submits opt-out requests on your behalf. You can try Aura free for two weeks using my link, aura.com slash patrickcc. Aura has many features to protect you and your family from online threats you can't see. It's really easy to set up too. Instead of having multiple apps to get things like antivirus, VPN, parental controls, password management, identity theft, and more, Aura has everything in one place, and you get them all for one affordable price. I personally like how I can get all these features in one organized app. It's really convenient. You can either let these data brokers keep profiting off your information, or you can go to aura.com slash patrickcc and start your two-week free trial, which is also linked in the description. Thanks, Aura. However, it's on his YouTube channel where you can see exactly how meticulous his lifestyle is. He wakes up at precisely 5.30 a.m. and immediately jumps out of bed. He will then complete around 150 tasks, from applying over 10 face creams, to weighing himself, to meditating. His team is always testing new procedures and routines to optimize his daily routine. Brian will sometimes use a red light therapy hat in the morning to promote natural hair growth, or high frequency electromagnetic stimulation for a strong core and increased nighttime erections. Exposure to light that emulates the sun is crucial to start his day, but he doesn't go out in the sun because that's too dangerous. He then begins his supplement protocol, taking upwards of 60 plus supplements like ashwagandha, EPA concentrate, and hyaluronic acid. His morning ritual also includes the Green Giant, a concoction including chlorella powder, amino complex, creatine, collagen peptides, cocoa flavanols, and cinnamon. Following this, Brian dives into his specially crafted workout routine designed for his de-aging protocol, which encompasses high-intensity training and basic exercises like pull-ups, chin-ups, and curls. After the workout, he enjoys his first meal of the day, the super veggie, consisting of pureed ingredients such as black lentils, broccoli, mataki mushrooms, garlic, and apple cider vinegar. An hour after breakfast, Brian has his daily nutty pudding his most normal meal with assorted nuts, juice, and berries. Two hours later, he returns to another variation of the super veggie and takes around 40 more pills. Then one hour later, he eats his final meal of the day, which varies. Given Brian's fasting window of 19 hours, he consumes all his daily meals within a five hour time frame. He consumes precisely 2,250 calories per day. Not a single calorie is wasted on something his body does not need. But the single most important factor of Brian's routine is his sleep. He will start by calming his nervous system with HRV therapy, which is a technique that synchronizes respiratory and heart rates, optimizing the heart rate variability by following an individualized breathing frequency pattern. Following this, he continues his nighttime skin and oral routine which includes PM face wash and a peptide serum, along with regular flossing and teeth brushing. To ensure the perfect sleep environment, Brian's bedroom is entirely dark, equipped with two air filters to maintain peak air quality, and features a temperature-controlled system that uses an algorithm to adjust the bed's temperature based on his body's sleeping stages. Recently, he shared on social media that he achieved 100% perfect sleep over the course of one month, which in simplest terms essentially means he is sleeping as deep as he possibly can for the longest amount of time possible. Brian also gets a full body IPL treatment or laser skin treatment every week to remove collagen, blemishes, and wrinkles in his skin, which is why sometimes you will see his skin looking red and rash-like. Brian's entire life is dedicated to his blueprint. The only deviations to his routine are when he travels to do other podcasts and interviews. He spends a good amount of time creating content for his social media and working on his business kernel but most of his little free time is spent with his son Talmadge, who also eats the exact same food that Brian eats. 
Brian's lifestyle has been subject to a lot of criticism, claiming he is a narcissist who thinks he deserves to live forever. They say taking 100 pills per day is nowhere near healthy, and he is overcomplicating his lifestyle. But the most common critique is that he is doing all of this, but still just looks like an in-shape 45-year-old. The whole aging backwards thing is more of just a marketing campaign than a reality. Basically, Brian is monitoring his body in every small great detail you could imagine, then comparing those levels to people his age just like every other doctor would, but with less detail. So when he says his heart is just as healthy as a 30 year old, he might say his biological age is 30 and his chronological age is 45, when in reality, he is just a very healthy 45 year old. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Brian is not a Hollywood elite that steals the blood of the young for adrenochrome. However, he does like to lean into the psychopath character as a marketing tactic. Plus, he actually looks like Patrick Bateman. His thumbnails definitely evoke a creepy response response, like this one that says, escape death with prayer hands. He often makes posts on Instagram that contain imagery of a supervillain, proof that I am an AI, even my tears are manufactured. Or on Twitter, he often attacks the idea of religion, revolt against any religion, philosophy, or cultural norm embracing death. You're going to die someday. Nothing can stop it. Jesus offers you true everlasting life. Believe in Jesus. Jesus has had 2,000 years and I've seen no evidence. I've done more in two years. Plus, I can have premarital sex. Brian's anti-religion attitude comes from him being born into Mormonism. He was told what to believe, what to say, and what to do from the moment he was born. He was never given a chance to believe anything for himself. His live forever prophecy goes against literally every religion, since they all have an interpretation of an afterlife. Yes or no question, do you think it's possible for us in the, in the short future to live forever? Yes. Okay. Right. Nobody has ever lived longer than 122 years old. It's very easy to say that Brian will not live forever, but this obsession with immortality is not new. The idea of extended or immortal life has been ingrained in human consciousness and present in all sorts of media through time as a storytelling trope or philosophical idea. It dates back all the way to the Epic of Gilgamesh, the oldest known work of fiction, with the central plot revolving around Gilgamesh's search for immortality. It's present in Greek myths, with Ganymede and Tithonus being granted everlasting life by the gods, with one remaining youthful in Olympus and the other growing eternally older. Dating back to the Dark Ages, it was an anti anti-Semitic idea that Jews would drink the blood of Christian children to stay young, and of course was a part of Bram Stoker's novel, Dracula, where vampires would drain the blood of their victims. In more recent history, many people draw comparisons to Orochimaru from Naruto, who attempted to take the soul of Sasuke in his quest for immortality. And The Simpsons, known for its eerie predictions, had a storyline involving Bart donating his blood to save a dying Mr. Burns, giving him the energy of a young man. However, Brian's blood transfers are most commonly compared to Jesse Karmazin's startup Ambrosia from 2016, which recruited 600 people over the age of 35 and infused them with blood plasma from younger donors. Brian even referenced this company in a creepy intro to one of his YouTube videos. The science is actually pretty fascinating. Regular transfusions of the blood of a younger, physically fit donor can significantly retard the aging process. Kazarin strongly believed in his blood transfer techniques. I'm not really in the camp of saying this will provide immortality, but I think it comes pretty close, essentially. However, he would never officially reveal the results of his study, and in 2019, the Ambrosia Health Clinic would be shut down. Numerous tests conducted on rats have provided compelling evidence supporting the positive effects of sharing blood and circulatory systems with younger rats. Although with the lack of positive human data, many scientists believe we haven't learned enough to consider it viable. And just recently, Brian announced that he is no longer doing blood transfers due to lack of substantial positive benefits to him. Through all the fire of different opinions, Brian has accumulated a large audience of people who appreciate what he is doing. It seems like the mainstream media has fallen for the marketing tactics. What Brian is actually doing is making himself a guinea pig for science. Before doing any research, I was expecting just another liver king. Some guy creating a phony lifestyle to sell supplements. I was wrong. However, Liver King's real name is also Brian Johnson which is weird. But as of right now, Brian is not selling his blueprint, probably because he sold his company for $800 million and he doesn't need any more money. He is giving all of his information out for free and implores others to challenge his research for the greater good of everyone. Is he evil? Probably not. Is he a narcissist? Maybe. Will he live forever? No. But can you learn a lot about the human body and potentially adopt some of his principles to live a healthier life? Absolutely.